Uh, and on that regard, I've been talking to uh, President Trump. Uh, we're working in partnership. Uh, and he has activated the federal government. We're looking at the U.S. Uh, Army Corps of Engineers to come in and help us build and construct FEMA to help us come in with emergency supplies. But uh, that's the third uh, strategy, if you will, build new beds in 45 days, if that's even possible. And, Governor, just to be clear, in terms of your partnership, as you described it with President Trump, there's obviously been friction there. There always is, even in normal political times, between state and federal leaders at times like this. Do you feel that you're working constructively with the federal government now, with that kind of urgent planning process that you're talking about right now for getting those things built in the next, in, in a matter of weeks? Do you feel like you and the, the federal government are rowing in the same direction? I think it's fair to say, Rachel, that my relationship with the president went beyond mere state federal uh, uh, institutional <laughs> frictions. Uh, we have had uh, we've had significant differences. Uh, there is uh, no doubt about that. Uh, and I have for many years and I've been very outspoken about it, as has he. Uh, but I had a very good conversation with the president where I said, look, forget Democrat, Republican. We're Americans and we're talking about life and death. And we're going to have a tragedy in this state. We have the highest number of cases in the United States. We're going to have a real tragedy where people die because they couldn't get the right health care. And I need the help of the federal government. I need that partnership. I'm a former cabinet secretary in the Clinton administration. I was secretary of housing and urban development. I did disasters all across the country. I know the potential of the federal government. And we need it here. And I said, I put out my hand in partnership. I want to work with you. I'll be a good partner. I need your help. Let's do what we were elected to do. Let's fulfill our constitutional duty. Uh, and the president said, yes, I believe he's sincere. More than just belief, he has acted on it, Rachel. Uh, I spoke to the secretary of defense today. I got a call from the White House team late last night, early this morning. Uh, I have the uh, Army Corps of Engineers coming in here tomorrow. Hmm. So I believe he is doing, he's doing what he has to do, and uh, I respect him for it. I respect him for it.